Hi Aquarius friends, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxy. So I'm going to be doing your January 2019 monthly general reading. I hope you're all doing well. Happy New Year to all of you. I hope you all have a beautiful, blessed New Year. So Aquarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs, I am using Wheel of the Year for you guys. Aquarius, please just keep in mind, I'm reading for a lot of you. It is a general reading. It's not going to resonate for every single one of you. It's impossible. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please, you know, definitely feel free to watch your other signs. Those of you that would like to get a private reading, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, the Instant Go app. If you'd like a quick question answered quickly, links to everything that you guys need are right below the video in the description box. Facebook Live every Wednesday for a general reading for each element, or each sign, sorry, Instagram is each element. I'd love to have you guys follow me there. We do have a lot of fun there on Facebook. Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising signs, January 2019. Can't believe we're here already. Aquarius, spirit. Spirit, January 2019, Aquarius. Your cards feel really good. Okay, your central issue is the Ace of Wands reversed. Foundation is the Queen of Cups. Scorpio Cancer, Pisces, female. Recent past, Six of Swords. Crowning you, Death card reversed, Sign of Scorpio. Some of you are definitely fighting a new beginning. And the moon. Any water sign energy here. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Scorpio does come through the strongest here. So some of you are absolutely dealing with a water sign. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. Could be your energy if you have water in your chart, you know, Highly intuitive, definitely, with both of these cards. Psychic abilities. Some of you could be traveling. Or literally moving right toward a water sign. If it's, if it's love. But I do feel strongly like you do need to let go of something in order to start over. If you want this new beginning in love, fertility, creativity, moving forward, you absolutely have got to let go of the past. And unfortunately, right now, Aquarius, you're not doing that. Some of you are not letting go of a water sign. Others of you are going through... Something very emotional, but you're getting through it. Some of you might need to move away and leave the past behind you. And sure, of course, you know, that shit could be scary, no doubt. But this looks good with the Six of Swords. You're transitioning. You know, I guess it could be a move overseas. And you do have enlightenment coming through. Definitely. You have, you know, clarity and enlightenment coming through. But you are fighting this new beginning. You're clinging on to old stuff. That is... not going to come to fruition. 
You know, the Queen of Cups, you know, she has a beautiful energy. So if this is your energy, you have definitely come out of a big emotionally draining situation. You know, the moon could be very overwhelming, overwhelmingly emotional. But she is ready. You know, she's ready to look to the future. The only problem is there's a delay. And I really do feel like it's because you have to move. For some of you, it is going to be getting a new job overseas. I really do feel a residential move with this. Big time. I'm going to cl clarify for you guys with Mystic Dreamer. We're going to start with the Six of Swords. I mean, it looks fine. Especially if you're a female at water in your chart. You're, you're definitely, definitely fine to transition. I'm just clearing this deck out. Okay. Six of Swords for Aquarius. Six of Swords. Definitely this one. I'll just drop the whole deck. All right, the sun reverse sign of Leo. If there was some unhappiness in regards to traveling, let me get another card. All right, the three of swords. Oh my god, okay, so there was separation. Some of you could be separated from the one that you love. And you want to start over with a water sign. Like I said, Scorpio does come through strongly. And some of you really want this new beginning. Ace of Wands. Okay. Page of Swords, needing to communicate with someone, but it's delayed. Like you're having, you're having a hard time connecting. This could be your partner, your spouse, your boss at work. Some of you are taking off and taking a trip or just simply leaving, moving on. Let me see the Queen of Cups. Okay. I have the Five of Cups. This is sadness, loss, regret, remorse, leaving something behind that you really don't want to part with is what I'm getting because of this separation here. I mean, this is definitely a separation. Let me see the death card. Sign of Leo with the strength card. Okay, also, if you're dealing with a Leo or a Cancer Scorpio Pisces, they're going to hang on. This could be a family member that you're traveling to see, especially if they're sick. You could be traveling to give news to someone else concerning someone's health. I am getting that here. You know, the moon, you know, this could be enlightenment to someone else. I got to see what that is.
family. Could be family. Let me get another card there. Okay, let's go right out of the deck. Page of Pentacles, this is interesting. Could be an earth sign, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, that you're seeing, or a water sign. But I feel like with the Page of Pentacles, you could actually be delivering money like a job. Honest to God, I'm telling you, I feel like some of you are in route, in flight, to pay someone off or to give someone money. Offer them a job. Some of you could be delivering news, delivering the news of someone that's really sick because this really does feel like someone is delivering important news. Um, I'm just going to take from the top. Let's go back to the Ace of Wands. Okay, it could be regarding a Sagittarius. This, this could also be why you're trying to get some kind of balance for whoever is having a hard time right now. Let me see the Queen of Cups again. Ten of Wands reversed. Someone is confessing, releasing their burden. It could be someone dumping something in your lap, like dumping dumping their losses, their regret, their remorse onto someone else. That That's being done. Either you're doing this or someone else is doing this to you. Someone could definitely be traveling to see you or you them. The entire reading is the same. The death card gets the eight of swords reversed, getting out of your head, out of denial. And there is absolutely the strength here to move forward. Now, if it's work, career, you're dealing with some of you definitely needing to move across country, overseas. And you're finding out about a beautiful job opportunity that is going to bring you in a lot of security, stability. Some of you could even be taking a child and moving away. Some of you are separating yourself from a family business and moving on to something else, but you're having a little bit of a hard time. And you're just now getting communication about this opportunity. Someone is definitely delivering something. That that's definite here. Or 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 moving. You're just waiting on this upper upper this this communication for this opportunity. That is really what I'm getting out of this reading. Let me pull you guys one of these Moonology Oracle cards. Absolutely amazing. Let's see what we get. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Virgin signs, January 2019. Aquarius. Okay, gonna be that one. Ah, sorry. 
a new start is coming. New moon and the next new moon. See, the full moon is on the 20th. Look at the calendar here. New moon. Almost, oh, December 29th. That is today when you're getting this reading. I remember before when I said too about with the moon and the Queen of Cups, you know, psychic abilities. Look at all the purple. There is definitely psychic abilities, listening to your intuition, emotional energy. But absolutely a new start, definitely. Not bad at all. Not at all. Definitely travel is here too. I mean, it's the new year. You guys could be definitely traveling. See family, friends. Guys, if it didn't resonate, again, please know. Take what does. Watch your other signs. Whenever I see an ace around this time of the year, though, definitely January. Things are changing for many of you. I definitely, definitely get that. Whether it's work, career, family, moving, long distance, but it'll be fine. All right, Aquarius, absolutely love you guys. Again, Happy New Year. I will see you guys back here very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.